August 18th, 156 p.m. We're doing an experiment here in plasma arc gasification. We have a furnace transformer putting out about 10,000 volts AC between two electrodes, and we're arcing uh, at the end of a ceramic tube. This is a white alumina or alumina, aluminum dioxide ceramic tube. We're using that because the aluminum dioxide has a very high temperature rating, and also it's a very good insulator of electricity. So the spark is only jumping between the two wires. We're slowly feeding wood pellets in the other end of the tube over here. Our trusty assistant is pushing them through slowly with a screwdriver. We're feeding the, uh, the wood pellets there. We're just seeing how well this gasifies. You can see the flames coming off. It's definitely making gas, and those vapors are burning. You can see it's also charring the carbon, leaving uh, you know biochar at the end. This transformer is putting out, or dissipating, or transformer, I should say, about 230 watts or so of electrical power. Not a whole lot of power here, and we're just experimenting to see how much gas we might be able to get from this. This is an open-air test right now. Eventually, what we'd like to do is make a test where the uh, plasma arc is actually happening inside of a vessel in an airtight environment where we don't have air. That way, we wouldn't be burning off the gas. We could take the gas off through a tube and burn it in a flare to some other location. But I want to do the first test here in open air so we can see the pattern of the arc and see what's happening and how uh, uh, pr practical this might be for gasification. Now one of the issues we sometimes have is you can see the black deposit of carbon of, uh, around the edge of the tube. Now that carbon is electrically conductive. And once in a while you see the arc actually jump to the edge of the ceramic tube and the arc will track around the circumference of that tube which is not really good. That means the uh, heat, the energy of the arc is not going into the wood like we want it to. It's basically finding a, a bypass route. You can see occasionally little uh, sparks of white where the, uh, the arc has jumped to the edge of the tube and is tracking around that graphite ring, that carbon ring. But we certainly are turning this into char, albeit at a slow rate. We're not dealing with a whole lot of power here. When you put things in comparison and perspective, what we were doing before with our combustion-driven gasification uh, processes is we were putting the equivalent of thousands of watts worth of heat energy into the biomass to gasify it. Here we're only putting about 200 watts or so into it. Hey, there you can see the tracking really well. You can see the arc jumping right to the edge of the tube. There's no wood sticking out the end. And that's one of the problems we're dealing with. As, as soon as our trusty assistant pushes the wood a little bit further, there we go. We see the gasification start to take place. Ooh, I actually see what looks like... No, okay, I thought for a moment we might have a little bit of uh, damage to the ceramic, but we, we just have an area that looks like it might have some tar deposits, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and shut down the power. Right now we've shorted out one of our electrodes to the pieces of, piece of wood. So we're powered down. Stuck There's safety it. there. Uh, yeah. Hey kids, if you decide to try something like this at home, be very, very careful. You don't want to have your hands anywhere near these electrodes when it's plugged in. So we're going to let it cool off, maybe reposition the electrodes and try another test. You can see right here at the edge, it appears from the coloring of the ceramic, it might actually have some tar. Hard to tell, but I see a little bit of a shiny uh, sheen to it right there, as opposed to the, the dull finish of, of the powdered carbon. We seem to have right here a, a shiny area. It kind of feels sticky, like it might be tar. You might actually be getting some tar there. And one of the hopes of uh, plasma gasification is that the temperature of the arc would be hot enough where tar would not form. But as we can see here, our arc does not, it's not very even. It's certainly not covered in the whole surface of the wood. So this could take a little bit more development, a little bit more work. For the small amount of power we're dealing with here, we might, may have to deal with uh, uh, smaller quantities of wood pellets, maybe instead of pellets using sawdust or something like that, just to make sure we're getting full gasification, very high temperatures, and reduced tar. Anyway, uh, interesting for a first try. We'll continue our experiments with this.